hello all now let us see the next one which is the log file there are many situations wherein we'll have to write some information into the log file so let's go about it let's create a bot here let's say two underscore log file we can add any description though for this it's not recommended let's click on create and edit okay we have a lot of options here the log one to the log, log two file is the option so it is between start and end so i'm putting it here file path i have a folder here and i can create new let's say two underscore log file dot txt i'll just copy this okay so i'm gonna put the path here enter the log file this is a log file entry okay and let's add something more let us add uh, some variables to this so let's say cpu and say daughter cpu usage dot string to text enter os dollar os and then we can use the option append timestamp so that it will uh, put the exact timestamp now it's a blank file <clears throat> now we'll know when what has happened now append to the existing log file it keeps on updating or writing existing log file so whenever this runs it's gonna uh, update freshly into the log file so append to the existing log file wherein our frequency is very often this is helpful or writing to an existing log file wherein we have to just write once and then we don't have to bother about what has it done the previous time encoding we have multiple options like ANSI, Unicode, UTF-8, UTF-8 16LE so let's, let us leave it at ANSI and here as I was saying assistant uses a red dot indicating that there is something that needs to be fixed if there is error log to file action but there is no log as error as such if I click on save that red dot disappears okay now let us click on run it's deploying a pop-up will come in the right bottom corner saying that the bot is running and what percentage it is running it's active zero percent and it is completed so let's go and see the log file okay let me double click on this see this is the timestamp that is written this is the log file entry this is the first entry that we had written over here this is the log file entry and then cpu colon the cpu utilization os colon this is the os information so this is how we can use the log file option and there's another way uh, how we look at building this bot is the flow way list way and dual way flow it's just like a flow chart list comes in how we write one below the other some people find it convenient to use the flow list some people find it convenient to use the, the list type and sometimes people find it is easier to use dual wherein you can see both so if i click on log to file and add one more entry it's get added here or if i click on log to file entry gets added here so let's take some other application some something else open drop drag and drop it gets appended over here or if we say command and then drag and drop uh, drag and drop here that gets appended here so that is how easy it is to use the automation anywhere options or actions here thank you